Hello, my name is Dr. John Sandell. I'm an Associate Professor of Chemical Engineering at Michigan Tech. And today, we're going to talk about what do chemical engineers do? Specifically, where do they work? Why choose Michigan Tech? First off, what does a chemical engineer do? Chemical engineers solve problems to meet global challenges. They work with environmental and sustainability, including clean air, carbon footprint reduction, energy efficient manufacturing, waste recycling and reduction. They also work with clean energy, including biofuels and fuel cells. They work with health and medicine in the areas of health and medicine, including cancer therapeutics, drugs, safe drinking water, and more. Where do they work? They work in a variety of industries, from the chemical industry, to biotech, to energy, to semiconductors, to oil, to pulp and paper, consumer products, and more. Our students work with emerging technologies, biofuels, alternative energy, sustainability, rechargeable batteries, drugs and vaccine development, nanotechnology, tissue engineering, and more. Why choose Michigan Tech? Michigan Tech offers hands-on experience, undergraduate research opportunities, paid internships, high placement rate, peer to tutoring service, and we also incorporate technical communication skills into our core chemical engineering courses. Specifically, we have the best unit operations labs in the U.S. Chemeng minors can mineral, include mineral processing, polymer science and engineering, bioprocess engineering, and alternative energy. We also have an energy enterprise program, which includes consumer product manufacturing, alternative energy enterprise, and this allows you to join a team that operates like a company, and you get to solve engineering problems for industry sponsors. We also have study abroad of, of opportunities in a variety of engineering pro programs at Michigan Tech in numerous countries. Our labs at Michigan Tech our state of the art. Let's go take a look and see what they're like. The Department of Chemical Engineering also houses one of the, the country's largest unit operations lab. This unit operations lab is approximately 6,500 square feet, multi-story and houses in addition to two large pilot plants, we also have approximately 12 bench and pilot plant scale equipment. Let's go take a look. Hi, welcome to the control room. I'm Dr. Collins. I'm one of the faculty in the chemical engineering department at Michigan Tech, and I am in charge of the unit operations lab. So right now we're in the control room, and from the control room, we control our two automated pilot plants. We have a three-story distillation column, or our solvent recovery unit, and we have a 30-gallon polydimethyl siloxane, or PDMS, reactor. Both of these pilot plants are automated so that we can manipulate the controls, the valves, the pumps, um, all right here from the computer, as well as monitor things like temperature, pressure, and flow rate. So we need to watch and run our two pilot plants from here in the control room. But our other 12 experiments are all out on the floor. Let's go take a look. But first, we need to pay attention to our safety. Those are a few things that I need to do before I go into the lab, including put up my hair, make sure I have long sleeves, and get safety glasses and a hard hat. I've got my safety gear on, so let's head on into the lab. Oh look, it's Dr. Sandell. So here we're at our recycled paper experiment, where a hydrocyclone removes contaminants from paper pulp 
leaving a cleaner help that can be used to make new paper. So we have our SRU, our solvent recovery unit, that's a three-story distillation column, but for safety reasons, it's insulated and you can't see a lot of what's actually happening. So we have a smaller glass distillation column where our students that are learning about separations and distillation can actually see the process happening in real life. So now we're out on the floor at our solvent recovery unit. As you can see, it is three stories tall. And we can see some things on the floor that we could see from the control room as well, such as the level at the bottom of the column. We can see it right here on this level gauge, and we have a monitor that shows what that level is in the control room on the control screen. And right here, we have our 30-gallon jacketed batch reactor for our polydimethyl siloxane unit. Here we have our liquid-liquid extraction column, and it's another one of our experiments that's clear so that you can see what's happening inside. It's not running right now, but you can check out a video of it running on our virtual tour. Let's take a look at the overall lab itself. This unique facility has many, many experiments. Example, water treatment, all computer control, vacuum drying, cooling tower, heat exchangers, these standalone experiments, flow meters, membrane separation. All these separate unit operations are used to make everything from peanut butter to a pharmaceutical tablet. This is the type of equipment process engineers and chemical engineers use every day to make the products that improve the quality of our lives. If you like working with equipment and you like operating equipment to make our lives better, this is the place for you. Michigan Tech also has a newly remodeled chemical engineering undergraduate learning commons. It includes an area for students to come up and learn in a very comfortable environment. 